Okay, guys, here we go. Now, Chandler brought us this game uh, as a Gusha 100 video. I played Stanley Parable before. I don't, I think we went all the way through it. I don't remember. It was quite some time ago. But this is the ultra deluxe version, and the original game was a blast. Anyway, so let's, uh, as, hopefully as some notifications go out, we'll get started, because people can always rewind to see the beginning. Hey, Krusty. Let's take a look. Mm, excuse me, guys. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Indeed it is. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. That's right, baby. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and, and he, he pushed, pushed buttons, buttons on, on a keyboard. keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how, how long, long to, to push, push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of, of every, every month, month of, of every year. year. And although others might have hey, considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Good employee, Stanley. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. I always something hate when that something would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no, Stanley! No one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. What the hell, Stanley? Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Very. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the Four, longest four two seven. Time. But as Maybe he came green. to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, so I, I need to do that then. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I was waiting for him to take me through more of this. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? It Stanley decided to go closed. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where the hell is the meeting room? He didn't tell me that. Cool world. Huh? Is that a meeting room? I don't know about that. Let's see. Hmm. This is creepy as hell. No doors I can open. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so now, do I do what it tells me, or is it challenging me to do something else? I'm not sure. I, I don't remember enough of playing this originally. Ah, that's too bad, Jill. Hmm. Yeah, let's do what he says. Let's see how that goes. Can I reopen those? There's a way to open the doors. I don't know what it is yet. Getting nervous here. Is this some, oh, this looks like a meeting room. Tips are not good. Yet there was not a single person here either. Well, Feeling tough. a wave of disbelief, I Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, that seems like a reasonable move stanley up to his boss's office can i interact with anything no make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header <laughs> everyone is unique you most of all what do people want stock market somewhere here this is a colored in segment this this is some intense stuff i quarterly post review review 
Uh, the death sport portion of the primary <laughs> number of slides on the side. Rate it with charts on the same slide to pick the same information. Ha <laughs> ha This is pretty good. I was thinking about being a bad boy, Big Green. I was thinking about it. Um, that's good. Conversation. Yeah. Conversation of Soros Rex. Did I forget to, um, put Total Drama 2 on the goose, you guys? Just let me know if I did, because I've got it. I've got it on. It would be about like me. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can open this one. Broom closet. Stan yeah, let me know. Into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Wait a second. I don't know if I can trust you or not, bro. Okay, so go Coming up. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I don't know if it's a good idea just doing what this thing tells me. Yo, boss. Hey, boss. What's down here? Oh, the executive bathroom. That would be cool. Yeah, I want to be able to go in there. Absolutely. To be rich. Is it a crime? To commit crimes. Is it rich? Ha ha! What a life it would be to have to pick just one. That's that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> no, because I don't fuck the voice. It is not the goose. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll take care of that, um... After we're done playing. Huh. I wonder how I forgot that. That was stupid. Nothing I can interact with. Okay, it's gotta be the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Well, that ain't Shocked, good. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. I'm what unraveled. dark secret was being held from him? Yeah. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. Oh. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, <laughs> was Stanley happened to input totally the random. correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, he Stanley stepped into the know. newly opened passageway. Oh, oh, I gotta... What passageway just newly opened? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I don't know that... Yeah. <laughs> Adjust your tie. Oh, it looks like, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> looks like a little budget film shooting here or something. Okay, you're creeping me out a little. Ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Just look around in here. Our corners. Can I push this button or can't reach that button? Oh, alright, there it is. Oh, balls. Well, this probably ain't good. Oh, and we're loading. Descending this is deeper Ultra Deluxe, the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. <laughs> it was a stirring of emotion peculiar. in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. No, I Why don't did he feel this that. now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, thank you for that foreshadowing. Oh. Oh, those sparks, quit throwing shit at me. This looks like the entrance into the Stanley room. walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind, mind control, control faci facility. Why would I do that? I mean, I don't have much of a mind, but I don't want it controlled by something possibly even worse than me. 
um, the, this pipes and everything, we, we think of the uh, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ride. Oh. Come on. I don't like decisions. <sighs> Shit. Do I do a mind control or do I do escape? I can't even say I've been following this guy's direction so far and I can't even say it's been going poorly or well. Who knows? It's just been going. See, I don't trust that to be an escape either. Let's go mind control it. Let's see you control this mind, bitch. <laughs> The oh. lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. I like television what horrible screens. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. I like did he TV. have the strength to find out? Sure do, Bucky. I ain't no bitch. I'm gonna find out. Boy, observation protocol. Yeah, a lot of that. Okay, what is this over here? Turn on the TV. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the what building. What the hell was I? 427? Co -workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, wow. one of them, eternally monitored cool. in this place where freedom meant nothing. 427, right there. Oh, I see. So, what's going on on my desk? Yeah, make sure I'm looking at the right one. Uh, oh, okay, it's up here. Show me 427. Come on. Nothing. Nobody's there. Not even me. Okay. And do more pushy buttons. I like pushing the buttons. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It Wait couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Well, that's why I like was this job. the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yes. That his emotions uh -oh. had been manipulated to Red accept it never good. blindly? <laughs> oh, boss. All right, let's check it out. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept yeah, it. Accept His it. own life in someone else's control? Sure. Never. Oh, it was never. unthinkable. Yeah. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Is it possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Could be. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, wow. working, all of it monitored and commanded from this oh, very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power I over did? another human life. How, I'm not for that, he would the dismantle Stanley. the controls once and for all. Maybe I, I would just go home and have a sandwich. Really? I, I'm that motivated to stop all this? Uh, you villain! I don't think... What's down here? Nothing? Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'm uh, highly motivated now to uh, stop all this. I guess. You're in, you're in. All right, well, let me see what I want to do here. Facility power. Well, looks like we're taking down the power grid. Awaiting input. Well, let me give you a little input then. System. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty his obligation to put an end I'm to this horrible that. place 
and to everything it stood for. Am I sure I'm feeling that? Oh, Stanley. Yeah, I did. You just activate the controls, did you? Yeah, I After kind of they did. kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, control? Oh. oh, calm down. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. Well, thank but you. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Uh -oh. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls yeah, off. Yeah, but I've been I've been following leave. the rules too much. If you want to throw my story off track, okay. you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. All For right, example, I'll turn it off. and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation oh, system. Oh, that sucks in the for me. That this machine is activated without proper DNA identification. Good, first of all. Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How now long there's that. Detonation, then? Mm, let's say, um, Turn it off, two then. minutes. Come on, ah, now this dip. is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, How? This is much better than what I had in mind. What, what the hell, shame dude? we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But well, what precious nothing... moments each one of them is. Come More on, you're being a to dick to me. About you, about me, where we're going. Take it back out of here. What all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know yeah. where your co-workers are? Yeah. A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Yeah. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. God damn it. I, I erased nothing. them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I oh, simply shit. let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then you're dying alone. Dick, dude. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Nothing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Oh, uh, I, I think I'm in trouble. Go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. You kind of blow me up, aren't you? Only 34 seconds what a left. Dick. But I'm enjoying this so much. Me too. You know what? Come on. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. All right, thanks. You're a good guy. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time Jeez. doesn't grow on trees. Five. Four, oh dear me! There. What's the matter, Stanley? Is There's it that three. you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Three. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that Where's something in this room okay. was capable of turning Here it off? I mean, look at you. All right. Running one. from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Three. Something here will save me. I'm going one, one, two, three, four, five. Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> Stanley, you're oh, in for quite oh a disappointment. Boy. All right. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer Come isn't on. a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just Whoa, seconds five. ticking away to your death. You're only still playing yeah. instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment <laughs> that right you're for a To see you made humble. Didn't this is not a again. challenge. It's a tragedy. He's you wanted to control this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have Shit. left to strike. 30 seconds until a big uh, boom and then nothing. No ending here. Oh, you Just dick! Just being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail you life? Dick. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part Get of me. Get out of here. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. All that because I pushed the on button? That was kind of rude. The end is never. Well, I guess we'll give it another go then. <laughs> so the scene... <laughs> 
And the story by Jack and the narrator shit, yeah. Well, that sucks. All of his co-workers were gone. What yeah, could mean? so we heard. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Alright, let's go through that same rigmarole, maybe, and um, just turn it off instead of on. Yeah, so no, none of these open. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door hmm. on his left. All right, let's let's yeah, because I'm I'm just curious to see if I take the same path and then push the other button there at the end. What happens? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave yeah, gotcha. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. Shut up, I'm just dick. going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing <laughs> well, don't so look. much in this room. Please take your time. I will. I'm gonna rub one out. It's just, uh, I guess, he ain't lying. There's nothing in here, huh? All right, douchebag. Wise ass. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked yeah, upstairs yeah, yeah. to his boss's office. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. To nobody. Come on, tell me this he began again. wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, I looking did? behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his mm, attention really. was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Yes. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the I boss can't had remember what it was, you guys. Two eight four five. Oh, number. thanks. Two eight four five. Oh, right, but of course, it. Stanley couldn't possibly. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't By simply have known pushing this. random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input oh. the correct hey, code. Hey, come on, come on, come on! By sheer luck, amazing. Some light here. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Got a long way to go to get back to that button, you guys. Stan Lee, yeah. <laughs> hey, Matsunaga. From Indonesia, very cool. Contrarianism is the only valid option. Looks like I got me killed last time I got nuked. Although I tend to agree with you. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, I did. I'm gonna play along with you just to see what happens on the other side. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Yeah, did that's he what have I thought. the strength to find out? I got the strength. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature there's revealed. Ma, there's my office. Each bore the number Good old of four an two seven. in the building. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of, one them, of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Oh, it's not that bad. Had Stanley Come really on. been under someone's control all this time? Sure. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions well, had been happy? manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused yes. to believe it. He ah, couldn't cool. accept it. His own Boy, life in pirate? someone else's control. <laughs> never. It's a pirate it was unthinkable, it was pirate. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly pirate, spent his Tommy. entire life utterly blind to the world? Could be. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. 
Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as go, the cold guys. reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided wait, wait, wait. that this machinery again. <laughs> would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Right. What, turn the system off that killed me? <laughs> I did all that. Darkness. Oh. And a rising chill of uncertainty. You got that one right. Was it over? No. Can't be over. Yes. Yes. Oh, sure. He had won. No. He had defeated yes, he the did. machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. But. And yet, even or, as the yet. immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers Yeah, gone? I do wonder about the co-workers. How had he been Someone, freed from the machine's grasp? One. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. But what happiness. happiness. Perhaps his oh, goal had not outdoors. been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, there's got to be feel. more to it than this. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. This is pretty cool. I like liberation. this. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. <laughs> never the end. The end is never the end. Back again, huh? Huh. Hmm. Right, there's nothing I can interact with in here, right? I guess we gotta go contrarian at some points. Although I got I got a happy ending, which <laughs> once you have a happy ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, check everything he now. couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What's going on here? Can I type? Oh, I did do... Oh, I just turned it off. I'm typing. I turned off a computer. Do I get points for that? Hmm. Okay, Krusty, thanks for being in. Yeah, we're just going to go through everything more carefully now and just... Copy room there. Making copies. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. I did. But it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, shut up, Dick. <laughs> Need to be a douche. <laughs> this narrator's an asshole. New 
Luke. Alrighty. Oh, new content? Indeed. What does that mean, new content? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Uh, now I'm scared. Oh, uh, hell. Where am I going? Uh, I don't know if I love big, or new content, Big Green. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. You're welcome. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home then. computers. Yeah. After receiving critical and commercial success, this is it like was expanded uh, upon Disney in ride. 2022 with the Stanley Parable path. Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Well, thank you for that. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences Excuse the me. world over. The world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Doesn't it, I'm though? very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe <laughs> content. <laughs> I'm sure you are, dude. So far, it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm Agreed. sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Are you? Are you really sure? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. Oh. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new I like content. this story I've never been more ready. Let's do it. You're too enthusiastic here, dude. Hmm. Hmm. It's an ultra deluxe the elevator. Yes, versions <laughs> of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if the. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see the content. <laughs> Give me the content, Stanley. Oh balls! The jump circle. Cool. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Sure. Probably gonna blow up when I get done jumping, huh? I'm getting winded. Not in very good shape. And dollar per jump. Yeah, it's an own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we? Ah, oh, what the hell. Okay. That was fun. Hmm. That was a fun time. Is... Is that it? That's it. That's Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Ah, Goodness. that was fun. Another elevator. Stanley, <laughs> I have to say, initial Goodness, impressions another elevator. of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yes. If this is new content, then I could just it's read you the whole dictionary. There's dump. 20 hours of new content <laughs> right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very there's cool. more? Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Are you now? A lot of chairs just sitting around. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? 
This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's <laughs> achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test, Test achievement, achievement, please, please ignore. ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. I'm it could afraid never so. have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley oh, Parable no. is really about? No frills, no no. Gifts, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you uh -huh. say, friend? So that was the new content path, huh? You dirty bastards. Four two seven, huh? Can not get back into my own office again? Hmm. Oh. Stanley. Yeah. Come over here. In the vent. How do I crouch? I want to though? show you something. Oh, okay. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content I, turned out to be. I do. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Okay. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find this it. This is good. Just our little secret. Take a look. All right. Thanks, bro, for hooking me up like this. Oh. Right, this is pretty intense. Making copies. Nothing I can interact with, huh? Whoa. I call it the memory zone. Well, thank it's you. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Good call. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, 2013. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. <laughs> oh, the waste. 813, eh? Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. The important things in life. <laughs> first dollar. <laughs> Smile because it happened. Academy Award. Oh. Hmm. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Sweet all our memories of Jesus Christ, you guys. No, I can't jump anymore. I tried a couple times, Big Green. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. Wow. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. 
Did you hear that, Stanley? Wow. Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was, Skyrim. <laughs> it was Persona 3. It was <laughs> all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk, Martin. <laughs> a lifeless husk. Yeah, you're making me feel bad, bro. Power of new elevator content. Oh, there we go. Well, the elevator, new elevator content was cool. I mean, let's be fair. Okay, can't get into memory zone maintenance. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, the game. and one that offers <laughs> some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need well, anything else. It didn't need new yeah. content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. And there's the door. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. They were. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. But how come? Is it just gonna send us back out? No. Hmm. Don't know there's nothing down here. Okay. You're making me sad. Well, there's nothing I could interact with there that would open that door. Wait. Oh, wait. Ah, Hang there on. we go. I don't recall this part of the memory zone. Ah, before. there we go. What's this? What's down here? Let's see. There's a hand truck. Uh oh. Oh, I need a drink. Great. Oh no! Oh God no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collected oh, down no. here. Surely Steam these reviews. reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, uh, maybe not. It is Steam. Kind of the 4chan of video game reviews. Oh boy. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. <laughs> the narrator is obnoxious it's and an unfunny. Funny. <laughs> and his humor and dialogue proving yeah. to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. Unfunny. I'm, funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Profound philosophical insight. Well put. It's kind of crappy out today, bro. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea of the game is good, no, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, <laughs> this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? <laughs> Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Shocking? I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Thank you. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Yeah, really. I feel so it's unfunny. Like so it's got to be douchebags. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. No, don't let them get to you. Come on, bro. <laughs> What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop the doing anything voice so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded <laughs> explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Wow. 
They want to skip a you, skip bro. Button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews uh -oh. of the Stanley Parable. That's oh, my motto today, and it's always been my motto. Uh -oh. I do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Oh, there it is. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning <laughs> starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, yeah, you'll zip, have zipped right, right past, past it. it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. <laughs> and the I'm going to wait, wait anyway. And by goodness, <laughs> that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue <laughs> and it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, <laughs> inevitably, we all until the end... <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more prof... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's sport. sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power <laughs> of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. This is pretty oh, good. I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say. <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not. Stanley, now I'm like pushing Stanley, the button. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I like that. I don't know it why was the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my well, the goodness. Plan's dead. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Oh, that was his Two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Poor just thing. sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. Aww. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Correct. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Yeah. Doesn't that feel like what... Oh, oh hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. How long I've stopped been? keeping track after a year. After a have you year. Ever sat down in one wow. Place, move for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To begin. Ha <laughs> ha There's a description. He's dead. Oh, oh, the clock fell off the wall. What happened? Okay, what's the beep beep? I'm gonna kill that but beep beep. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. No, it was meant to speak to the human condition. Back. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, Are we going back again? If in the next one the clock's back on the wall. The end is never the end oh. is never the end is never the end yeah. is never the end is never the end is never the end. Well, that's is annoying, never the dude. end is never the end is never the end is never the end. Alright, you gotta stop that right now, bro. My parole officer Billy Donut says. <laughs> Oh, oh! Has it been centuries or something now? Building's seen better days. Clock's still there on the floor, though. Ah, uh, the little tree got crushed. Bummer. Son 
like shining through. Narrator is obviously long since dead. Oh, now it's getting overgrown. Just like when I watch those videos of like abandoned malls and stuff. How the foliage starts growing again. Yeah, this is my abandoned mall. Ah, oh, I miss the narrator. Not really though. Uh huh. Excuse me, the creeps. Come on, let's have daylight. No more daylight. Is it the rise of the machines? I've been watching Sarah Connor Chronicles. Yeah, that's terrifying. Oh, the gate fell. Oh! Well, the walls blew out. I hate when that happens. Wait a second. How is it dark up there? Okay, something else fell on top. Someone gonna kill me out here? It's just gonna let me go on endlessly, huh? The wall fell out. Ah, big green. Yeah, Skynet. It's just gonna let me walk along out here forever. So I gotta go back and push the button. This is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, what, ha what the hell happened? And we're back. Are you fucking kidding me? That was bizarre. I'll be home for Christmas Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> um, now that, um, that saves everything, right? It's got to be auto save. I want to make sure before we move on. That was pretty cool. And then now, we'll, if we, um, if Chandler continues to sponsor this, we play again next month. I got to remember what we did do in here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's auto save. Okay, I figured. Thank you guys. That was pretty cool. I I, I do like that though. I, the um, you guys were right. The uh, the fast forward button. That was awesome. I, I really like that. This game, it just, it's funny how it um, just kind of captures your imagination. I Personally, I, I like the narrator. When his life is controlled by a British person narrating what they do. Watch this, and then Curtis took his shirt off and did a little dance. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Full-on contrarian? We could try that, Big Green. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. Guys, thank you for hanging out and playing uh, this with me and... and uh, Chandler, thanks a lot for sponsoring it. This was fun. Uh, the the, the uh, initial new content, though, that was that was an aggravating move. That was pretty cool, having that just be a couple of elevators. But yeah. Yeah, Billy. I Again, I kind of like the narrator. This, this, this is fun. We'll, we'll, if uh, Chandler continues with this, we'll do it contrarian next time. All right, guys. Um, I'm not sure. We got some more sponsored games i don't know if more are coming today or not i got to check the schedule if it's a video g100 video coming up later or gaming but over the next couple of days there will be more uh g100 gaming so i'll see you guys then